Hello welcome back to my channel, I will show you how to design election flyer. Let's jump straight into it. Click new and follow these settings. Select landscape 3x2 and please make sure your settings is the same as mine if you're following me. Please import your subject and other sample images. Sample images link is in description. The folder in the description also contains TIFF and PSD files. Sample folder is password protected. Please make sure to watch the video to the end in order not to miss out the chance of getting the password. I will give the password to all files in the course of this video. Please don't miss any part of the video. Click and drag your subject to your newly created tab. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform your subject. Press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and as you click and drag any point from the transform. This will help you to transform at center. Go to Windows and select Rulers from the drop-down menu. We will use the rulers to create a guidelines for our flyer, it will also help us to align things easily. Let us place our logos from the sample images folder by dragging them onto our workspace. Please remove the background before placing them onto the workspace. Right-click on each logo and select Create Clipping Mask. You can rename the logos for easy identification. Press Ctrl or Command T to transform. This will help to resize the logos. Select the Type tool or press T on your keyboard to select the Type tool. Now follow these settings and type the name of the institution. After typing the institution name, follow these typographical settings. Whilst following the settings, you can also click on this card at the top right corner to check out on how to add text to images. Transform the texts. Select the top three layers and position the texts and logos as well. Select the Type tool, you can press T on your keyboard to select the Type tool. Now let's enter aspirant or candidate's name. Select the move tool or press V on your keyboard and click and drag the name to position it well. Let's duplicate the name layer, we can do that into different ways. First, you can press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate or you can press and hold both Alt and Ctrl keys. 
then click and drag object. Adjust the positions of the texts. Select the two text layers, press and hold the shift key then select the folder icon to group both texts. Select the adjustment layer icon and select gradient. Follow these settings. Click OK. Right-click the gradient layer and select Create Clipping Mask. Select the Rectangular tool. Click the Fill color. Select the Color panel. With the help of the Eyedropper tool, sample a color from the Institution logo. Click and drag to create a rectangular shape. Select the Type tool and type Aspirant's position. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure to hit the like button, thank you. Place your text on the rectangular shape and follow my typographical settings. Now, we want to place our text in the middle of the rectangular shape. Press and hold Ctrl or Command and click the thumbnail on the rectangle layer. Now select the text layer. Select the Move tool. Now click the center align icons and your text will be centered in the rectangle shape. Duplicate both the shape and the text layers. Transform and change the color of the second rectangular shape. Add other texts such slogan or motto.
Let's center the slogan in between the guidelines. Select the rectangular marquee tool and create a selection in between the two guidelines. Make sure the text layer is selected. Also make sure the move tool is selected. Click the center align icons to center text in the selected area. Now our work looks quite good, but we are not done yet. Click the adjustment icon and select gradient. Select from the gradient sample if you're using Photoshop 2020 or higher, you can do it manually if you are using an older version of Photoshop. Drag your background image onto the workspace. Set its blend mode to multiply. Now lower the opacity to around 60%. Let's make some final touches by making some corrections. This part is optional, you can choose not to do it. Duplicate the background layer and place the copy layer on top of the text folder. Right-click and create clipping mask. Increase the opacity and set its blend mode to multiply. Thank you for your patience to the password to unlock the files. Now the password, the password is PSFL05B. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, stay safe.